hey there and welcome back to Hate's Good Life. Happy Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Natalie, this is my channel, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'll show you how to organize and store your seeds. Now that we've been inspected and approved by the cats, we've got our tea, it is time to get organizing. And oh, do we have our work cut out for us. Oh, but first, let us behold the glory that is this turquoise box filled with newspaper dividers that I jerry-rigged to save my seats. Oh, well done, past Natalie, you tried. You also tried with this kitchen contraption thing, but uh... Yeah, it's time to upgrade. But we did find some cool things along the way, like that hummingbird house, as well as this letter from a follower, and this seed package, which I designed myself for some cilantro. Although I misspelled it, Cleantro is not an herb. You guys get the idea that from plastic baggies to turquoise wicker boxes to newspaper dividers, it was definitely time to upgrade to a better system. Now it did take some time to sort through all of these seeds, but we did manage to make it happen and all of these seeds eventually fit into each of these plastic packages. After about two days of sorting through seeds, it was time to clean up the outside of this package with a little lemon oil to remove any sticky residue. I like to do that by just applying it directly, giving it a good swirl, and then wiping it away. I found that using a dry towel actually worked a lot better than using a sponge. Now for the real coup de grace, as they say, which is this lovely embossed label maker, which I have wanted for so long. I love how straightforward this thing is. You select your letter, put it in position, and click. That's it. Then all that's left to do is remove the tape from its backing and affix it to your packages. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you my seed storage. I paired like items with like items and then went ahead and went real type A on this and alphabetized all of the containers. Now for the first reason I love this seed storage system is that it's actually not a seed storage system at all. It's made for photos, but as you can see, it fits seed packages quite nicely. Now, while I'm not normally the biggest fan of plastic, the fact that it's plastic does make it really lightweight and easy to take out to the garden. One of the reasons I actually really like that the system is made out of plastic is that while you're working in the garden on one project, you can protect the rest of your seeds from water or debris or mud or anything like that. Then you can pick it up and head to a new spot in the garden really easily. And if you're lucky enough, you might even get some help from some furry friends. Even our sassy pants Oliver was very impressed with this seed system. Or, you know, maybe he was just using me for scratches. <laughs> now, at the end of the day, there are a lot of space-saving ways I could store this small but mighty package. I could store it under the couch if I really wanted to, because it's that compact. I could also store it in the coat closet, because that's a nice, cool, dark place, and seeds like cool, dark places. Under the desk would also work. I would not be bothered to have this little compact thing next to me while I work. But I will be storing my seeds in our newly renovated garage, a project I have worked so hard on and I'm very excited to share with you this Friday. It has been so good to be with you guys this Two Minute Tuesday. That was really more than two minutes, but uh, I thought it was worth it to make this video and I hope it offers a lot of value to your life and gives you some ideas of how you can organize and store your seeds this year.
Quick disclaimer, I am not sponsored by any of the companies mentioned in this video. I just am really happy with the products and was really excited to share it with you. Another disclaimer, I'm not the first person to come up with this system. I first saw this system over on Homestead and Chill's page, then again on Front Yard Veggies, and then again at Roots and Refuge. So this system is making its way around to gardeners across the country, and I decided to make it my own by adding some labels and alphabetizing and kind of sharing with you guys different ideas of how you could store these if you have a small space but big garden dreams like me because I know what it's like to want the garden so bad and to not have all of the space in the world. I totally get it. Uh, so this video is right up my alley and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope to see you guys Friday for the premiere of the garage renovation.